Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be talking about a 10x event that's going to be launching tomorrow for the Dark Elves. I will dive into all of the champions, and we're even going to talk about the odds of the 10x versus the 2x. I'm going to do some live summoning sampling so you can get an idea of what your odds are for getting these champions that are in this event. So we'll go over that, and we will also get you all caught up on the events tournaments the offers going on in games so that you are ready to get your week kicked off in raid shadow legends as best as possible so let's get into it Alrighty, and guys really quickly i do want to let you know i'm super excited about this dragon champions has provided me and the, and the cho fly community with a promo code in their game so if you're looking for something fun to try out on the side download it try it for an hour or two see if you like it if you put in the cho fly code i will show you on screen how to do that all you gotta do is type in cho fly if you're under level 15 you get some free rewards why not if you're looking for something fun to kind of mess around on nothing is changing about my content and my channel uh, i'm gonna be doing raid every day raid is my focus and my passion but i'm gonna go ahead and try out some dragon champions on the side and we're gonna make some channels for it in discord if you want to join us definitely go ahead i will have all the links and the promo code down below if you want to check that out so yeah anyway let's dive into this 10x because that's the most important thing to understand right now and even if i'm live i've got to do my sparring pit you know how it is priorities are priorities but yeah okay so there's going to be a 10x event launching tomorrow and if you want to keep an eye on the countdown for this event it is not live at the time of me recording this video this is your countdown the champion chase tournament that right here, you can see the 13 hours and 38 minutes. That is probably going to coincide with when the 10x event starts. And now I will list the champions and give you an overall kind of general consensus of how I feel about this event. So the champions are going to be Vizier, Lonicus the Chosen, Queen Ava, Blind Seer, Ray, Captain Temela, Lua, and Madam Saris. Now, um, this is obviously a dark elf themed 10x event. And, um, my general sentiment on this is there are some good champions. Vizier, Lonicus, Blind Seer, Ray, Madam Saris are all pretty solid champions. Um, my standard reaction to 10x events is that it's usually more optimal to wait for a 2x event, especially now that we're getting them a little bit more consistently and a lot more often than we used to. I would recommend for most of you out there, it's most optimal to use your shards during 2x events. Now, this one is a little bit different because we've got a 10x for one of the best champions in the game, Madam Saris. And she's a lot more realistic to acquire as opposed to a legendary. She's an epic. So one of the best champions in the game, and she's an epic. So you've got a more realistic chance to acquire her. And this may be the only time you ever get a 10x for Saris uh, for the foreseeable two or three years. This may be your best chance to ever get Saris because you do have about a three times more likely chance of getting Saris per shard in a 10x as opposed to a 2x. So if your goal is just to get Saris, it is more optimal to pull your shards during a 10x than a 2x. But the trade-off is you've got a lot better chance of getting those Void Legendaries or those other good Void Epics like Skull Crown and Maneater during a 2x. So you are sacrificing. The 2x is still generally superior. My point is, if you're only worried about if like like if your main goal like if, you, if you've got a really good account you just don't have saris yet you can make an argument that it's very good to pull shards for saris and i'm gonna go ahead and show you this summoning odds calculator that i really like i think it's a fun tool to really mess around with so let's get that pulled up and i will explain this and kind of walk you through what this is and i i didn't make this tool don't give me credit for this uh, i will put a link down in the video description if you want to check it out i think it's really fun uh, especially during events to, to calculate what's going on and, and kind of see what your odds are of certain pulls or, or if you're just bored and you want to simulate some shards this is a good way to do it this this is a lot of fun so really quickly i will run down how to use this uh right here there is no double 2x event so we put none 10x I'm going to put the epics because that's what I'm mainly concerned about uh, when, when I'm pulling Void Shards. Well, I mean, I'll add Blind Seer just because she is in there as well. So uh, that is the only Void Legendary right now. Uh, so you've got three champions that are, that are going to be boosted during the 10x. You've got Madam Saris, Lua, and Blind Seer. That is the three Void Champions. That's why I'm putting them in here like this. So then we're going to be pulling Void Shards. We put Void there. And the reason I have 25 in here is because I sat here simulating a bunch of these, and what I found was if your goal is to get Madam Saris, pulling 25 shards is about where you're 50-50 to get her. 
So that way you can kind of weigh your risk uh, if you want to go for it or not. I, I found the break-even point of, of getting Saris or not. The 50-50 chance is about 25 voids. So what you can do here is then you can sit here and I'll show you kind of what I did to figure this out. So simulate one pull. We'll go boom. Okay, we're 0 for 1 on getting Saris. 0 for 2. 1 for 3. 2 for 4. Uh, 3 for 5. 3 for 6. Uh, 4 for 7. 4 for 8. 4 for 9. 5 for 10. 5 for 11. 6 for 12. 6 for 13. 6 for 14. 6 for 15. 6 for 16. 6 for 17. Uh, 7 for 18, 7 for 19, and uh, 8 for 20. So yeah, that one went a little bit poorly. Most of the time, I get Saris 10 or 11 times with 25 of these boosted shards. So yeah, that's, you know, you're going to have to ask yourself that question. If it's if it's worth the risk or not, um, you, you can make an argument for both. If you don't have Saris, you can make an argument for both the 10x and the 2x. Um but anyway, I think it's a good opportunity for some of you out there to chase Saris is my main point because she's one of the best champions in the game. So if you don't have uh, if you don't have a Saris yet, it's definitely not a bad idea to be pulling shards during the 10x that's going to start tomorrow. If you do already have Saris, you probably want to go ahead and wait for the 2x. But let's get that put away. And then the champions that come out of regular shards, your Ancients and your Sacreds, are going to be Vizier, Lonicus, Queen Ava, Ray and Captain Temela. Now, um, they're all good champions. Uh, Vizier and Ray, I would say, are the crown jewels of that. Lonicus is a pretty cool champion to have on your account. Queen Ava is one of the best campaign farmers in the game, uh, but not really like an account carry. So I would say Vizier and Ray are really the crown jewels of the regular shards. Um, in terms of the regular shards, unless you're kind of an end game player who's really chasing Vizier or Ray, I would say for most of you out there, 90 something percent of you out there, it's gonna be best to wait in terms of your Ancients and Sacreds until the corresponding 2X event. But now let's get you caught up on everything going on in game. Uh, first of all, the lag has been a massive problem for the last like 10 to 15 days, somewhere in there. It's just been awful for so many players out there. Uh, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to the lag. I know for me personally, I am one of the unlucky ones that has been suffering from devastating lag. I'm trying to play on stream, and it's like 30 seconds of lag in between every run. It's been miserable. Uh, I did stream today for about three hours, and the lag was pretty negligible. So it seems like it, it's finally letting up a bit. Let me know down in the comments how it's going for you. Is it getting better finally? Uh, was it ever bad for you to begin with? I, I really enjoy reading kind of how it's going for you guys. But in terms of what I'm experiencing, it seems to be getting a little bit better. But for the events, we've got the champion training ending in about a day and a half. So if you're participating in that, you're going to want to make sure and keep an eye on that because you've got about a day and a half to watch over that. And then this champion chase tournament is going to be coinciding with the event that I just covered. And, and, and it's probably going to be the start time of that is when this countdown comes out. That's going to be when the 10x for those champions, the Vizier and the Saris and the Ray and Blind Seer, all that. That's when that's going to actually go live. And then the Classic Arena Takedown and Spider Tournament have finished. And then for the events, right now we have got the Champion Training event that's going to be starting at about the same time that that 10x event uh, launches. So if you pull something that is uh, worth investing in, that'll be a good time to go ahead and start building it up. We, have, we can't see this yet. It's not live, so we can't see exactly how it is structured. But, but now let's go over the offers. Let me get this pulled up here. Let's pull up the offer sheet and get into this here. And all right, chained offers. So this the chain offers are typically not that great unfortunately they're usually like a uh like a 1.6 1.7 i wish these chained offers would 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 come up just a little bit but we've got the 500k here energy 450 uh gems 250 um and then five energy refills boom yeah 1.64 so um okay not quite gonna cut it this could be structured a little bit better to to, to drive me towards recommending it. I'd have to, I'd have to recommend against this one here uh, based on how it's structured. Uh, we don't have to plug this one in. That's every day. The Mega Mix Pack. I think this one's going to grade out to be technically good if I remember from being live on stream, but chicken is wildly different in value depending on who you ask. So you're going to have to kind of make that decision for yourself. We've got 160 brews. 
uh, eight four-star chicken, and 10 five-star chicken. That is a lot of chicken. So for an early game player, uh, the chicken is a lot more valuable, and this offer could be decent if you've really got people that you need to get developed as soon as possible. Uh, and then the gems, 350, the five days of XP. XP is a lot more valuable for the newer players as well. So yeah, for a newer early to mid game player, this offer is not bad in terms of getting your account developed, getting the XP, getting some gems and some chicken. Not that bad for an end game player. It's probably going to be a pass because it, does, it doesn't have shards or energy to get gear and all that stuff. So, uh, man, <laughs> uh, uh, more divine speed. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying to get them to send these speed offers out a lot less often, but uh, but they're definitely cranking these speed offers out because uh, obviously they're probably making Plarium a lot of money. But yeah, um, these are basically not good value unless you're really at the highest tier of Arena. If you're, if you're up there in the top 500 players in the world, if you're really banging on the door for Platinum Arena every week, it makes sense to buy this if you've got it in your budget. Um, I, it's too expensive for me. I can't afford to uh, to wail out on these divine speed set offers. So it's not realistic for me and people who are diligent about their spending. This is going to be a much higher tier arena whale type offer. But let's get that put away and wrap this up here, guys. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, and, and again, just to clarify, the 10x event is not live right now as of me recording this video. There is a countdown right here in game. If you go into tournaments, the champion chase tournament, that is when the 10X event will launch. And there will also be some sort of aesthetic in the portal, I am sure. But it is going to be for Vizier, Alonicus, Queen Ava, Blind Seer, Ray, Captain Temela, Lua, and Madam Saris. So, all right. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.